One of the things that really helps with ingraining a systematic approach to archery is verbally talking about your shot process. Now this is something, especially when you're training alone, if you're in the backyard, or this is something that works great when you don't have much space and you're not able to go to a range. Let's say you have a bag target, you're practicing in the basement, and you want some type of new practice technique to implement, but you have limited space, kind of gets boring just shooting at that target right there at three or four or five feet. But incorporating a verbal command to a shot process can actually help you in putting a shot process that's systematic and repetitive it can help that thing go into motion once you're actually at an event because it takes multiple times and multiple times and multiple times and weeks and months and years to ingrain this thing that will become a habit of something that you do each and every shot. So my shot process for myself and what I teach students is really broken down into six steps. Now this doesn't include the things like knock an arrow and put your release on or set your sight because all that stuff needs to be out of the way. So once you go into your shot process, you're boiling this down. And what I've done was boil down my list to the things that make an impact on where an arrow goes, whether it's good or it's bad. If your stance is wrong, you can have a bad shot. You might get lucky and get a good one, but you're also setting yourself for a bad one. If your grip's wrong, it's gonna be inconsistent, right? Shoulder starts to change, draw length changes, so then everything else changes on the back end. So anchor, peep, pull, and finish. Now that what you can do is if you write this list down, and I have this list where when I'm shooting, I can look over and see it. One of the things you've also seen me do for students is write it in chalk on the concrete right beneath them. So as they're starting to do this, they can look down and they can see this process right there to where they can go through it. But one of the things that I did during my practice to help me learn to do this and learn the order was to verbally speak it as I was going through my shots. And that way it just becomes so systematic because I'm not only thinking about it, I'm saying it and I'm seeing myself do it. Two things that I tell people that are important about a shot process and two things that I tell them to always keep in mind is does it look right and does it feel right? And when you're verbally commanding this shot process, then you're able to think about those two things as well. So if I'm sitting here and I'm ready, stance, my stance looks good and I'm secure, I feel stable, I'm comfortable. Stance, grip, my thumb position looks correct. I'm, my wrist is back. I can feel the pressure and now it feels right. Shoulder, my shoulder's down, my shoulder's forward. I draw my bow, it stops, my shoulder's still down and forward. If all of a sudden I look and I can see this shoulder coming into, into my vision, I know already that my shoulder is already in a position to start to collapse. The harder I pull, it's gonna be out of place. So I need it to look right, and I also need it to feel right. The bow stops, shoulder's good. Anchor, find my anchor position. Find the position on my face where my arrow pressure is minimal, and I know that my angle of pursuit on my release is correct. Peep, I adjust my head to bring front sight, rear sight into alignment. Now that that's happened, I'll get my bow on the tart, my pin in the target. I'll be level. I've engaged my trigger. Pull. Start to pull. The shot breaks. Finish your shot.
pulling your release hand over your shoulder so that your follow through is actually coming back as the bow is going forward rather than coming down. So if you say pull and the shot breaks, but then you never said finish and you recognize, well, now my hand's out here, that's an arrow that's been sent low and away from the face, it's gonna give you a completely different impact. I've actually resorted to this even in tournaments where things were not going how I planned and I knew that I needed to just get myself back into my flow of my shot routine. So I was on the line as a professional and I'm just sitting there, stance, grip, shoulder, anchor, peep, pull, finish. Stance, grip, shoulder, anchor, peep, finish. Verbal commandment of the shot process is a way to incorporate multiple senses and just completely solidify that routine so that it becomes habit, it becomes part of the subconscious, but it's also something that is gonna build you into being repetitive each and every shot.